me the news. The oil glands that we all have in the eyelids that are right by the lashes, they are getting clogged. It causes inflammation, redness of the eyelids, blurred vision. It's like a war zone in there. We've got a new treatment and I'm very excited about it. Well, we're revealing the latest test treatments and cures for your most common problems. And here's an email question from Marissa. Dear doctors, I have the driest eyes you can imagine. They're red, irritated, and burning. And my eyelids even stick to my eyes in the morning. They've been this way for years and I've tried every eye drop out there. I'm desperate for a cure. Well, lucky for Marissa, she's here along with ophthalmologist Dr. Boxer Walkler. Thank you both for being here. Pleasure. And Ruth, I can only imagine having eyes as dry as you say they are is incredibly frustrating, yeah. even painful. So first things first, what in the world causes dry eyes? Because there's multiple reasons we get them. Exactly. And the two most common reasons is one, the eye not making enough tear film, so decreased tear production. And the second one, which is really common and underdiagnosed, which is blepharitis. And bleph blepharitis is basically the situation where the oil glands that we all have in the eyelids that are right by the lashes, they are getting clogged. So it's like having acne of your eyelids, essentially teenage eyelids. And when it gets clogged, it causes inflammation, redness of the eyelids, and that then in turn causes irritation, even light sensitivity, blurred vision. It's like a war zone in there. And for a lot of people, not Marissa, but... You know, a little bit of a dry eye, you can use some over-the-counter drops and no big deal. But for people with chronic dry eyes, you got to figure out, number one, what's causing it, but how do you even determine if they have dry eyes and need treatment? Well, there's some traditional tests, but I really like this new test that we have. It's called a tear scope. And the way it works is we can non-invasively look at the eye. It's like having binoculars for the tear film, which we've never had before. And we can actually see the quality of the tear film as well as the stage or severity of the dry eye. So we can look at Marissa's right now. You up for it, Marissa? Let's do it. Let's right. take a look. <laughs> so we're just going to have you sit up here. And you're just going to look straight ahead. And what we're actually going to be seeing so, is... So, so what are we seeing? What, what, what is that showing us? It's showing us debris that is, first of all, floating around in the tear film, and that's not normal. So tear that's debris that we're seeing there. Yeah, all those little black dots is the debris that's floating around in the tear film. Tear film is supposed to be nice and smooth, like a, a coating of you know, water and oil, nice smooth coating. This is causing... Um, the dry eye symptoms from the blepharitis combined with the dry eye. And so that's the reason why she's having all these problems. You can sit back there, Marissa. So what to do? Well, traditional treatments are using artificial tear eye drops, but the problem with that is it does absolutely nothing for the blepharitis because, again, it's that oil gland clogging that's the cause. So in men and women that have blepharitis, there's actually not enough testosterone relative to estrogen. So what we do, we've got a new treatment. It's just local. Yeah. So would you like to see Marissa apply? <laughs> Are you game? You ready? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Do the honors. Okay. So I put it on my, right above my eyelashes, So this right? is self-administered then? Yeah. So you squeeze just a little dab. Like a little, little tiny amount. Enough. That's perfect. Okay. And you will just... Rub it right I into the skin. Better. And you want to also get close to the lashes mm -hmm. because that's where those oil glands are. Mm -hmm. They're right by the lashes. What Any ill there? effects if you get the testosterone in your eye? It may irritate it just temporarily, but it's not a problem. How quickly sorts. could someone like Marissa see the benefits of this? Usually in about a month. I like to explain to patients it takes about a month to really kick in and start smoothing things out. You got some cool goggles over there too. <laughs> yeah. Here what we have are these really nice silicone goggles. <laughs> so it goes around and actually covers the eye area. So it creates essentially like a moisture oh, chamber. Yeah. So And you'd wear those just at night then? Well, or unless you want to go outside no, with yeah. these and get a lot of attention. <laughs> <This is> good. <laughs> I mean, kind of cool. 
If you're suffering from chronic dry eyes, you really, and, and over-the-counter drops just aren't doing the trick, you really need to get it checked out. There are solutions. Marissa, hopefully this one will work Thank for you. you Thank you. Thank you. Coming up.